GBT series is a two-stage double acting booster. Keep in mind that on the GBT series, we have a gas flow input requirement to follow. In this model, our requirement is 70 PSI minimum pressure to about around 400 max PSI pressure. If we go above or over pressure this pump, our first sign will be that the pump will stop stroking. When the system gas inlet is over pressure, this can cause the system to stop stroking due to the fact that internally the piston accumulates stress and there's pressure tension from one side to the other. On all Hydrorex gas booster series, except the GVT series, you're able to supply up to 2000 PSI or more of gas and it will not cause any pressure tension and stop stroke. We'll be testing the sample holes at 8,000 PSI. First, we'll be connecting our hoses. Our first hose will be the gas inlet. Next, we'll connect our air. Make sure your valve is always closed. Now we'll be connecting our sample holes to our output pressure port. Before opening your air inlet valve, I recommend for you to back up your regulator to the closed position counterclockwise. Close your pressure release valve so your pressure won't be released. And open your isolation valve so your pressure can flow. If your test requires uh, your pressure to be recorded, um, you can always add a T and run a hose or tubing to your chart recorder. For this gas booster and chart recorder, you can always find them on hydrorex.com. This is a 2000 uh, PSI nitrogen tank, and I'm going to set my regulator to 300 PSI to avoid overpressure. Now we have 300 PSI on our gas inlet that went through our pump already. It will be showing 300 PSI also on our output pressure that goes to our sample hose. Now I will open my air supply valve so I can begin stroking. As you can see, we're already at 3,000 to 4,000 at about 80 PSI of air. So we stopped it above uh, 5,000 PSI uh, to check for leaks and to continue up to our 8,000 PSI. I'm, I will be checking with soap and water just to see if we don't see any bubbles. So we reached our 8,000 PSI with 80 PSI of air, 300 PSI of gas inlet, and we'll be closing our isolation valve. My requirements require for it to sit 15 minutes with a zero drop. So our 15 minutes are up and we had zero drop. If you used a chart recorder, your pressure will reflect if you had a drop and the time that you left it running. When relieving pressure, it's very important for you to open your isolation valve so you can relieve all the stress that the pump has internally. Now we'll be re releasing the air pressure 
that gets stuck inside the pump's head. Now we'll be closing our gas supply. So our test is complete. And as you can see, our gauges are zeroed out. And for our next test, it will be the same process. Hydrorex has a variety of gas boosters with different types of pressures and flows. If you have any questions or concerns on a gas booster, visit us at hydrorex.com.